YouTube, what's going on, man? It's Keon back with another video. Hope we all been taking care of ourselves. Hope everybody having a blessed day. Uh, I just want to get straight into this video, man. Do you ever feel like something's missing? Do you ever feel like there's something else you should be doing? Do you feel like your life right now isn't really what it's supposed to be? When you know that you're destined for greater things. Well, let me let me just run one one statement by you, right? That literally can can snowball effect a drastic change in your life. All right, so picture this. But actually, now listen to this. All it takes is one thought. All it takes is one thought. Now it doesn't have to mean. It doesn't have to be an exact phrase. Uh, but it all generates the same feeling. Feel me because if let's say you live your life, you know, going through the motion or or whatever, if that's how it's feel, let's let's say you feel like you're going through the motion, you're unmotivated, uh, you feel lazy, you feel like you're not doing what you should be doing. It just takes one thought. It could be I want to get better. It could be I need to get better, or it could be Why am I not getting better? Just that one conscious thought, or that one thought, you can take that same thought. You can wonder, okay, I want to get better. Why am I not better now? Okay, take some time to answer that. Maybe you write it down, you feel me? Let's say you come up with these reasons of as to why you're not where you want to be right now, or why you're not better. And this is all subjective, how you feel, right? Let's say you come up with these reasons. First, you went from this initial thought, right? You went from all it takes is one thought. You went from this to, okay, the reasoning behind these thoughts or behind the, the, the general statement or the general idea of what you are thinking. So you have that. You have those answers, right? Now, remember this is a snowball effect. So from one thought, it becomes multiple reasons, multiple uh, sources of understanding. Then after that is, why, how do I feel about me not being where I wanna be? Or how do I feel about where I'm at now? Take that, you continue, right? And, and this is all in the betterment of yourself. This is not for you to beat yourself down. So you take that, and then you get into a place, okay, uh, what can I do to better my situation or to change my situation completely? What does that look like? Uh, what does it feel like? You can even put a time on it. What will my situation look like in five years? Okay, you can even start like this. Five minutes from now, what can I apply in five minutes that can make me better than myself five minutes ago? A grander scale, five hours, five days, five months, five years. So my thing is, if I'm, my, my thing is here, it really doesn't take much to realize, uh, it, it doesn't take much to have that thought of like self-realization. It doesn't take much for you to really be honest with yourself. It don't take much. It's just uh, sometimes we as people, we may not have the tools or we may not have developed a part of us that, uh, we may have not developed a part of us that questions ourselves. Or let's say, it's not that we haven't developed it, let's say we just don't tap into that side. Because really, we're at a place now where there's, that we have, we have, uh, utensils we have tangible we have things we have assets that we can use to put us in a wonderful position in life right but hey we all get complacent yeah, so we get in a place where we may be comfortable with where we're at now so this is the thing right you you take this thought of or you take that one singular thing that one thought that one source of energy and you can understand how just having that one thought of why am I not where I want to be? Or how can I get better? However you want to word it, you can take that one thought and it trickles into the reasoning. It trickles into the feeling. It trickles into, okay, what can I do now? 
okay, what can I change? What can I leave behind? What will stay the same? What will not stay the same? Then from those thoughts, from the, from that, that uh, aspect of you wanted to plan, then you take action, right? So let's say you decide to dedicate three to six months to these set concepts that you want to improve on and concepts that you know will improve you because you only know yourself more than anybody. So you take these concepts, right? You begin to apply these things. Then you start to notice, oh damn, okay. Okay, maybe that worked, maybe that didn't. Okay, bet. I, I, I did such and such, now I feel like I'm better at this. I did such and such, now I've worked on this. So you see your past. So then let's say, you know, you apply these things and you reach your end goal. But, but listen to this, it's crazy how you can see how one single thought, one single existence can, can birth an entire change in your whole situation. But it's really just the the substance of doing it. So if you never took the time to like have that one thought, like, okay, why am I not where I want to be? You may not even get to where you want to be if you never asked yourself that question. If you never asked that single question, which birth reason is, which birth uh, planning, and then of course the action and the, and the consistency with that. But it's all just one grandiose thing. You see how simple it could be, but if you allow yourself to kind of simplify things, but understand everything, there's always going to be a deeper meaning to things. It's kind of like mo most situations or most things in life, yeah, they're concrete solid and they write straight to the point, but sometimes it's more than on the tip of the iceberg. There's more under the surface that you have to take the time to dive into because if you just try to always heal the surface of things, you're going to be stuck trying to put band-aids on deep cuts. And it's only going to be a while before you realize that cut's infected. Before you realize you can't just fix something with, with tape, with a band-aid. It's about re-reversing habits sometimes. It's about taking the time to have one thought, one single existence of a thought that can birth a whole different way of life for yourself that you knew was inside of you that all it just took was that one moment it, it probably took you five to five to 20 minutes right to have that thought to to write down reason is to write down cause to action or whatever no not cause to action it probably takes five to 20 minutes i don't know how long it takes for a person to think something through but either way it could take somebody five to uh, five minutes to an hour uh, out of their day to just sit there and be like, okay, have that one thought, have that, have that motion, and okay, the reason why the the preparation, the planning, the action, the consistency, it takes all that, it takes from five minutes to an hour to plan that. So you could literally plan six months of your life, you know, not, not exactly to a T, but a, a, a general idea of the front of the next six months of your life and how to apply better things or how to apply a different way to go about things you can literally think that through in almost an hour so just take that time you feel me have that have that one thought that single to that single thought have that one existence of a thought that's going to change your whole life forever because i know i have it just takes me one moment to be like okay what can i do better it doesn't matter how you word it but as long as you have that one type of energy, that, that thought to your mind, that question you ask yourself, it will literally birth a, a better version of yourself. It will birth a better version of yourself. And it will also put you in a place where you will win automatically. So go do it. Ask yourself, have that one thought to yourself. Ask yourself that question. Write down reasonings. Uh, plan out what consistent what a consistent three to six months of applying these uh actions that you wrote down that you want to do by applying these say uh morals or whatever you want to call them uh, apply these said things take that time to write down these actions that you know you can obtain these things that you know are obtainable plan it and allow yourself to stay within those allow yourself to stay adamantly focus on those things for three to six months and watch the person you'll become 
it'll scare you. But it's a good scary because you know that it's a good scary because just imagine how terrified you would be if you didn't apply those things. If you didn't take the time to have one hour of questioning your of questioning where you are to put you in a mindset to be better. Just imagine if you have not. You'd be in the same place right now, wouldn't you? Shit, I would too. But that's all I wanted to say, man. Uh, I really hope that somebody took something from this video just to be able to question themselves and understand that if you just take some time to really question yourself and look for those answers, it would allow you to better yourself in the long run. So I appreciate everybody who watched. Uh, if you watched this whole video in its entirety, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed anything uh, on my channel, any of this content, this topic I talked about today, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, show some love, man. We all about positivity, just trying to better ourselves every single day. So with that being said, man, that's all I have for y'all today. It's Keen, I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace.